With the lockdown going on, more and more you guys are actually at home and maybe you don't have much to do. So because you have so much more time, I'm gonna share with you some of the three most important skills I feel you should learn during this time of lockdown. So once you do learn them and, and things become more normalized, you can come out running out the gates hot and you'll be killing the sales game if you learn these three skills. What's going on everybody, my name is Patrick Dang. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you wanna see more videos like this, and let's get started. Okay, so the first skill I believe everybody should learn during their lockdown, especially if you are sales development or you do any type of sales, is you wanna learn how to do cold email lead generation. Now, I'm saying cold email specifically, I'm not saying LinkedIn, I'm not saying anything else, I'm saying cold email specifically, because I feel cold email is one of those timeless skills or timeless platforms that will always be around for a very long time. If you think about it like this, if you work at a company, right, chances are they're gonna give you an email. Everybody has a work email at a company. So for the rest of the time, as long as that's true, learning how to send a cold email properly that solicit responses and get you meetings with high level decision makers, even if they have no idea who you are, valuable, valuable skill. If you learn that, you'll always be paid. And with things like LinkedIn and other platforms, well, LinkedIn can ban you if you are sending too many messages or if you're automating things, right? And if you get banned, then you know you have to kind of start over and it's difficult to create an account. There's a lot of headaches that come with that. I'm not saying LinkedIn is bad. I'm just saying that you do run certain risks when you do that. And the reason why I personally prefer cold email, if I were just to choose one, obviously you might wanna do all of them, but if I were just to choose one, I would make sure that my cold email lead generation is on point. And not only will you learn how to reach out to strangers and book meetings with them, but your own email skills when it comes to internal uh, dialogue is going to improve as well. You're gonna learn how to write clear emails that get responses, that get people to do what they're supposed to do. And that's extremely valuable in the workplace, right? You always work in teams and you wanna make sure you communicate communicate everything properly, and you wanna make sure people do the things that they need to do. So by learning how to code email, you get better at prospecting and you get better at internal dialogue. Now, the next skill that we have for you that I feel you got to learn during lockdown is learning how to close, right? This is gonna be the sales skills required to close a deal. Now, a lot of you guys, if you are doing sales, obviously, you're gonna learn how to close, right? Whether, whether you're, let's say, an account executive, account manager, customer success, you're always trying to convince someone to do something, and that's what I would call closing. And it is going to be one of the most valuable skills in sales because that is the holy grail of generating revenue, okay? But to actually learn how to close, you have to learn a lot of different skills to actually get to that point, right? The close is not the last thing you say in the end of a meeting to get someone to sign the contract. The close is always happening from the beginning all the way to the end. The whole process is closing, right? From the moment you meet someone, you're building rapport with them, and then you're asking about their problems, you're diving deep into it, you're trying to see if you have a solution to solve their problem, right? All these steps that you have to do in sequential order to get to that last point to ask for the actual business, well, you have to learn the whole process. So you got to learn how to close from start to finish, okay? And you also should learn how to close over the phone and over Zoom or whatever video conferencing you're using, you have to learn how to close digitally in the new world, right? It's not always you know, meeting the person in person, face to face, getting them to like you to actually close a deal now. Now you have to you know, meet someone over Zoom, have a conversation with them and get them to trust you online digitally just from a video chat, right? So it's a little different because there's a lot more technology involved and you know, you're know you a little more separated from the person. You have to learn how to close using different platforms, especially with everything that's going on in the world. And in the future, you know, more remote work will be more common. Meeting people, not in person, but just online will become more common. Uh, conferencing to do sales call and presentations, more common. So you have to learn how to close in these elements and these playgrounds. And to get better at closing, obviously you want to watch videos like this and take courses and learn how to actually do it. But you're also going to want to do some role playing with your friends or your coworkers and just practice, right? Because as you get better at closing and you get better at your script, it's going to become more natural and then you're just going to be good at closing, right? It's just going to be second nature. So practice closing because it is a absolute must have skill. Now the final skill that I believe everybody should learn during this lockdown is your public speaking and presentation skills. Now, I'm going to categorize this different from closing because they're not quite the same, okay? Closing is more the process of 
building a relationship with someone and getting them to pay you money. Public speaking and presentation is more like an element you would use and you would bring it into closing, but it's not exactly the same, right? Because when you are, let's say, closing or you're selling, it's a dialogue between two or more people. But when you're doing a public speech or some kind of presentation, it's kind of more one way where you are presenting an idea to a group of people or maybe just one person. And of course, they're gonna ask you questions and Q&A and things like that. But you know, like most of the time when you're doing a presentation, it's gonna be the salesperson talking and just sharing their ideas. So for presentations, you gotta be able to do it face to face in person, right? But you also need to be able to do it over a Zoom meeting or if you're just sharing your screen or sharing a PowerPoint, you're also gonna need to learn how to present with a PowerPoint online where the person doesn't see you, right? Very valuable skill because that's the future of selling where all these demos and booked calls and things like that are gonna be online. And the funny thing with presentation is that when I was in university, I remember this time I bought a camera and I wanted just to see where my presentation skills were at. So, you know, at the comfort of my own home, I just made a quick presentation, 15 minutes, and then I recorded myself giving uh, a business presentation, right? Like a pretend business presentation. And when I watched back the clip of that recording, I couldn't even watch the first 15 seconds. I just turned it off and deleted the video because I thought it was so bad, so cringe, so embarrassing, right? And so during that time, that's when I had the realization that I was a terrible presenter terrible public speaker, okay? And so I also made the conscious decision that I wanted to become better at the skill no matter what because I know the value of it. I know the value of communicating. We do it every day. So I wanted to get better at that skill. And so over the years, you know, whenever I had like school presentations or, you know, an opportunity to speak in public, I would always be the person that raising my hand and be like, oh, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it because I wanted to practice that skill. And so, you know, what you guys see through the camera now, it's basically me, you know, doing years of presentations and you know public speaking uh, sales dem uh, doing demos and things like that you know years of effort to get to this point that you see today and even still I wouldn't even say that I'm the best at presenting but I am you know I am what I am and I'm trying to improve as I go along so there's always room for improvement for me and if you're a salesperson and you haven't been practicing at all there's definitely room for improvement for you so wherever whatever skill you level you're at you know don't believe that you're so good when you know you may not really be compared to the rest of the world really have that attitude of wanting to become better wanting to learn and see the value that you know learning how to do public speaking and presentation has because no matter what you do whether it's sales marketing or you you own your own business or you have employees whatever you always have to communicate with people you always have to do presentations if you have ideas, right? Even if you're just a low level employee at a company, you still have to do presentations on what you're working on, right? So no matter what you're doing, having that skill to do presentations, whether it's sales or internal meetings, whatever, extremely valuable. So with that said, those are gonna be the three skill sets that I believe you should practice and learn during your time during lockdown. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And let me know in the comments what's your number one takeaway. And if you want to take your sales game to the next level, I actually got a free training on how to start and accelerate your sales career. Make sure to check the link in the description to check that out. So with that said, my name is Patrick Dang, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.